Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Okay, so I got requests on how to draw lips and how to draw nose. So I'm going to do a few and show you that that I do different ways that you can um, practice and work on. And then once you get that down pat, play with them and make them your own, which is always fun to have your own style. Um, as for lips, there's so many different ways to start. So I'm going to bring my camera down a bit and try to get this on here for you the best I can. Maybe I need some more light. Let me see if I can get my blinds. Oh my gosh, I have to clean. Okay. I don't know if that helps at all or not, but we shall see. Okay. So for lips... We'll do some lips on here. We'll start here. If you do, once you do your face, if you have your line, and I'm going to draw them bigger than you would on, um, you know, if you're doing your face or, or maybe even, you know, I've done, I do big faces and <clears throat> like my goddess and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so you can do whatever. But if you start with your line, you just make a straight line across. And then you can go and you want to, Essentially make a triangle, dip it down, and then make your other triangle this way. And you want them basically, you know, the same height. I hate these shitty pencils that don't erase good. But you want them basically the same height. Okay? And that would be the top of your lips. Now you can see here that this line goes uh, goes much it's much longer than this. So obviously you want to make sure that you're doing, you know, approximately the same um, size. Because once you get that basic lip structure down on top, like this, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. Remember, you're just learning how to do it. Then you go, and this I always slide this down. I take my pencil, I take it down, I bring it into that line, and then I just bring up my lip. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Bring down that, and bring down that, and that will usually even it out for me. So if the bottom isn't even, it automatically will even it out for me. Now I'm kind of crooked here sitting, so I'm drawing a bit crooked. I can see that's a bit crooked. But if you just, if you don't want to follow a formula, that would be what I would do if you want to learn how to um, do your lips. And then you can go in and you can round these. You can make them shorter and make them more curvaceous. You know, and then we would erase like up here. You know, so if you don't want to have a, like I said, a template kind of thing. It's very simple just to do. And sometimes they people put in that part of the lip, and it's usually right directly below here of that little thing we have, that little dippy thing to make you have lips. And remember when you're painting them or coloring them, the dark the top lip's always darker than the lighter the bottom lip because of what the way things are. Now, yeah, that looks like I said, that's not I'm, I'm doing it sideways so you guys can see better and all that. But that's just if we're going to sit here and play and you don't want any formulas. A, a good formula to do is to make two circles. And you want them to be around the same size. This is when I use my um, circle uh, template that I've showed you guys. but So I know that the circles are even. But it doesn't. you don't have to be. You want the circles to touch, but you don't want them to overlap. So then you do another circle over here and you want them to be about the same, you know, as close to the same size as you can. And then under here, you'll make an oval. Okay. And so far that's what it is. Now we can make a little animal from that if we wanted, but here goes what happens. Then we take our pencil and right here is going to be our lip, like where our lip dip is. And you're going to follow the circle. 
and take it out and you're going to go like this and go around that circle. And then this is going to be that middle part. And then you're going to take this and go around this. So when you erase these, and I'll do it again so you can see it one more time, you have your lips. And that's a very easy formula to do. And you have great lips. Again, we're just going to, it depends on how big you're doing it. I'll, may, I'll do it a little bit bigger, but you guys keep it more at what you, the level of what you're doing. I'm just going to make my two circles. And you want them to touch. And if you're sketching on paper and you're doing this, do it so you don't, um, you know, you don't have to, when you erase, you know, you don't have all the marks. You know, try to do it lightly once you practice. Like once you're like, okay, I got this. And then we're going to go here and we're going to make our oval. And as wide as you make the oval is as wide as, you know, your bottom lip's going to be. This is our dip. We're going to trace this over, take it out, bring it down, go around. We're going to go in our dip. We're going to bring it down and we're going to bring it around. Then here's our line. And I'm going to erase my circles. And I'll just erase that little lip thing in the middle there because it's easier. So you erase it. Then bring your, your line in and do your little dip if you want it. And you have a fantastic pair of leaves. Look how cool. And then you just go over and, you know, trace with your colored pencil or whatever. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing it sideways, so it's hard to keep it straight. But if you follow that um, pattern, you get lips. And that's, I mean, that's really as simple as it is. It's two small circles. Again, two small circles that are next to each other. And then you want an oval. And if you want it thinner on the bottom, you know, the, the lip's not that big. Then make it a little thinner if you want it, or a little fuller. And then remember, this is your middle of your lip. You take it, you take it out, you bring your line in, you take it out, bring your line in. And then this is your lip. And then you erase. Like I said, you could put your line in. And you got a pair of lips. Now, that that's a great formula to follow. And that's what I advise you to do. Because um, how do you say? Uh, I, I think that's the easiest for everybody. Do you, you know what I mean? Because you're not, um, and these are full lips, but because you're not you have a formula that you're playing with. You have a formula that if, excuse me, if you, um, like some people, okay, their lips on the bottom, some people make them like, so they have like little divot, you know, everybody's lips are different. So then you can go in and put like a little divot in yours. You know how they do like little and, and make your lips. I mean, so you can then play with these whatever ways you want. If you want to do, like I said, if you want to do a, um, we'll do it right here. You can do a straight line and then go up here and do it very thinly. You don't have to do it, nothing major. You just go up, go down, go up, go down. Okay. And we'll erase off that extra. And you can make these as now if you want to make it a little bit longer, you go up, you go down, you go up, you go, you know, and you, and you can have your ruler like at the top here. So you know how far up to go. Do you know what I mean? So you don't go too far because you know I'm always doing that stuff. But so you, you know, so you're right on point and go down. 
So then we have two different sizes here. And if you look at it and you're like, eh, this isn't long enough, and you just take your mark out a little bit more, and you just take it down, okay? And that's one way to do it. And then all you do is you just start from here, and you want to keep it shallow, but then make it round, and then keep it shallow again, and take it up. Now, obviously, you could see these are a little bit off because I'm not using my ruler and really measuring, but again, that's when you play. This, I can see, is off. Like I said, it's you're not just going to draw it and be like, okay, lips are perfect, everything's great. It's, it's, it's not as easy as, you know, they make it out to be all the time. So on this one, it's the same thing. Put a little line down here so you know where you're meeting. And then meet. And then meet. And then you see how much more uniform that is? Because you have your line down there. Then you can go in here and you can do some of the shading and, you know, and and, and go in here and, and, you know, make it more, you know, whatever you're coloring it with or sketching or whatever. So this is a great way to do it too. And like I said, all you do is you just draw your line straight. You do your triangles. And like I said, after a while you get uh, better at, um, you know, doing it. But you just go, do your triangle, do your triangle, and then do a little line down here, and then meet, and then meet. You know? Then if you want to go over it and you're like, I want these to be curvy, you just take it and you just add a little curve to them. Then you can add your little dip here. You know? So we got some great lips. It's really, it's really not that hard um, for me to sit here and teach you how to to shade them and all. You know, it's gonna it would take a lot longer and all. And if you want that, I can do that another time. Like for instance, let's let's look at this one. Let's see if I can get down before everything falls. Like what you want to do is you want to make sure that like we're for sketching, right? And we're gonna. We're going to make this one darker. We're just sketching a face. We have our eyes done. And this one's going to be sketched in a little darker. Or if you're coloring a pencil or whatever you're using. You're going to make sure that this is darker. But then, when you get down here, you want next to your line where you, your lips separate a little darker. But then as you get down, you want it a little lighter. So you're not going to push as hard no matter whether you're using colored pencils or whatever, or you can add a little bit of white to your, a um, little bit of white to your paint. You know, and I like to kind of, if I'm doing the, I'm not a very good uh, graphite artist, I will be honest with you. I know rules and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not somebody that can sit here and teach you how to draw a beautiful, I have a friend, uh, Pixie, who draws the most beautiful, uh, you know, uh, graphite drawings and shadings and all. It's beautiful. And I can't, I can't do that. I mean, I can hold my own on to a level and then I'm pretty much done. But then you see, like I said, um, you know, and then it would be like, you, this would be a little bit darker down here because it would be under the chin. But you see that it would be, like I said, lighter underneath here. Oops. <laughs> and then you flip your pencil if you're feeling really fancy. I got my fancy pants on today. I flip my pencil. Okay, so that's generally I that's generally the idea. Again, I, I I can go off track and I can sit here and draw lips twenty different ways because I do it depending on what my my uh, you know whatever I'm drawing. Again, like I said, the easiest way I can tell you is to do you know um, your two circles. I'll do it again because you know you just can't have it enough and don't worry you know if they're not even like I said I always go around a couple times because I don't know why I just do especially when I'm practicing and, and I practice all the time and I you know it doesn't matter and then just go in with your oval and then remember this is your dip you take it down you bring it down this is your dip you take it down you bring it down 
And if you remember my annoying voice saying that, this is your dip, you take it down, you take it round, you know what I mean? And I know that sounds silly, but remember being a kid and they would teach you these little songs to remember things? I mean, have you ever forgotten the alphabet? I'm just asking. And then you go in and then, like I said, you play, you know, you play and you, you, you know, add your own little way to make your lips. And I think that's the easiest way to do it. Now, noses are a complete other thing. Um, noses range. People do noses so many different ways. And I'll show you a few ways that I do mine um, to help with you starting out. Of course, you know, you can always do the nose that's just the little folk art nose, which is like that. I do my noses uh, different ways. Like, let me think how to... I know I have a, there's a, I'm thinking for, I'm sorry, I get quiet because I think you do, there is a nose, okay, so you do a circle, Just be, bear with me here now, bear with me, let me make sure I'm on camera good because I hate when I, when I do things, oh, come on, see if I watch, I get so freaked by watching myself on camera that I don't have my camera up. Isn't that ridiculous? All right, so you do a circle and then you'll do two circles here. Yeah, there are circles, right? And then you do an oval here. Kind of looks a little obscene, but wouldn't it be if it was me? Then you'll go in and you'll erase these. And this is one way I find this tedious, but um, if you're just learning, then you'll go in and erase. I don't think there's anything wrong with this because if you're just learning, circles are so easy to do. So you see how we have a nose and then we'll go over. And this would be the sides of the nose. This would be your bottom part of your nose. This would be the side of your nose. And then that would be, and then, you know, you'd go up to however you're, oh my God, that does look very obscene. Um, and then you'd go up over your eye, like say your eyes here, right? But you have the base, see right here is your nose. Now what I do is if I'm drawing and I got my little eyes here, and this isn't, I'm just drawing. What I do with my nose is, I do, a, a, like this, I'm doing a little bigger. So you see how it is? It's like you do this, and then you take it over, and on the other side, you take it over. Then, I add the sides of the nose as little, I'm doing it bigger, of course, because I'm like here, I'd add the sides and then I'd take it up around my eye. And then my eye would be here and your eyebrow and all. And that's how I do it. And then like your nostrils would be like under here and it'd be dark, it'd be darker under here. Like when you go to color it in. You know, and then you'd have this, your little, whatever that dippy dip thing is. And then you would do your lips. And I'm just going to do a very un nice lip. But just so you get the idea. Do you see what I'm saying? I think I'm in your light because I'm leaning to try to make sure I get you. So that's the kind of nose I do. Um, like I said, again... You can very simply do a big zero, a big circle, and then do your two circles here. And then just, these would be your outsides. This would be your underneath. This would be your outside. Trace it. Everything that's not traced, erase. This would be the ball of the nose. I don't usually do a ball of the nose, but, um, or I'll do like a semi, like just like to, 
you know, because if you look at our nose, like if you look, if you flare your nostrils and you look in, in the mirror, let's find another way to make to write on the paper. If you flare your nose and you look in the mirror, you're getting, here's like your nose, the bridge of your nose, here's your eyes, here's the bridge of your nose. And then like when you flare your nostrils, your, your one nostrils over here, your other ones over here, and then you'll see this part that everybody puts in. If that makes sense, look in the mirror and flare your nose. I know that sounds ridiculous, but then you'll get a better concept of what you're drawing because like I said, this is the outside of your nose. And then in here is where your nostrils are, where your nose goes, where your nostrils are. And you see how it makes, and then right here, is where the ball of your nose is and that's why when you color this part's lighter because when this because it sticks out and the light doesn't hit it as much i hope that's making sense it makes sense to me but that doesn't mean that it makes sense to you so those are two ways that i do it like i said i usually just do this and sometimes i'll do it bigger like that you know depending on what i'm doing and then i'll do my and right there, it starts looking like the nose. And then underneath here is your, you know, your nostrils. And of course, that's dark. Underneath here is a little bit dark. And then I'll just take it up on the face, you know, and then do that. You can do both sides easily if you want. And then you have that nose right there. Let me erase this mess right here so you can see. So then you see you have that and that's how simple. So you could do one side or you could, and I always do more lines than needed, or you can just do the one side, whatever side you want, and then just do it like that. Or like I said, you can do it smaller and just do your little bloop like that. Color in your little nostrils, color in your little nostrils. I'm doing the sideways here, so I hope. Bring in your nose. You can bring in the sides of the nose much closer, or you can do them farther apart. It's up to you. You know, you have your little dark spot there, and then you can bring it up, and then there's your eye. So I hope that helped. Like I said, those are some good, a couple techniques. If I sit and show you 20 ways to do it, it's going to confuse you. But like I said, if you do the circles for the lips and the circle for the nose, remember, I'll do it down here. So for the last thing, because I know I'm all over the place, we'll do down here. If we can really get some light. All right. Remember, you do your two circles that touch each other, and then your oval, and that is your lip, and you do your lip, and you bring it down, and then you bring it down, and then you do over here. And you bring it down and then you erase that whole middle and you have your lip shape. So that's the lip. And then the nose with the whole, with the uh, circles are, you just do a circle and then you do two smaller circles. And then you trace the outside. So you get that outside nose and then you'll erase. You know, and then you can then add your nose. And those are, like I said, these are, you know, just a few easy ways, just so you know, um, to start off to play. And that's it. So I hope that at least you guys get some idea on where to start with and what to start with and practice with. Like I said, I can sit here. There's a thousand ways to draw noses. There's a thousand ways to do... Uh, you know, to do it and you have to find what works for you. I showed you two different ways to do the nose, the way I do it, and then the way that you can practice and learn, which essentially really is kind of like what I'm doing, except mine's not connected here. 
So I would erase this and erase this to a point. But I have my, you see right here is my is my circle part and right, you know what I mean? And, and then right here goes up and is my circle part. And then I have these. Now, if we were doing like a side nose, for instance, and I'm going to be doing a three quarter face soon, but the nose would be like how I do it. And this is just going to be a very quick uh, sketch of how I would do it. But it kind of goes like this. I know it looks silly right now, but just wait. So we would like draw and then there's the bridge of the nose and here comes the tip of the nose and then here comes it down and then when what like this part would be hard to do things fast like I should probably just have done this differently I mean on a different video but you know and then you go in and you shade this would be shaded because this is darker this becomes the roll of the nose so like this would be, you know, this would be the side of your nose. This would be your eye, if that makes sense. And then that would be like the side of our nose when we're sideways. And this would be our nostrils. And then it would continue down. And then it would be our lips. And then our face. And like I said, that's just a general generalization. Like I said, there's so many different ways to do it that it... You know, so when we do do the three quarter face, we'll be learning how to do the nose from the side view, you know, and then there's the way that you don't have to have that in there as dark and that you really want to concentrate on this part right here. Like I said, there's so many different ways because that's kind of where you connect with your nose and then that comes up this way and then you kind of have it. So there's so many different things. And we will do, like I said, a three-quarter portrait coming up at some point, probably in the new year. And, uh, you know, and I'll teach you how to do a three-quarter and all that kind of thing. So it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of patience and that kind of thing. And I hope that you guys learn from this. Be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I'd love to see you uh, tag me with your pictures. And like I said, if you just do the basics and you... Uh, then play around like if you do a lip like this or or whatever You really can accomplish and and really grasp it very quickly. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later